military to designate U.S. citizens as enemies during collapse. You'll remember Halliburton subsidiary getting contracts to put Americans in camps and demand them. You'll remember uh, the Department of Defense master contract we covered earlier in the week. Well, now, listeners, i.e. Joe Joseph and others, have pointed out, hey, look at this in Department of Defense contracts. We can't tell you stuff that's classified, but look here. This is public. And in it, it talks about blue force, like our military has in Afghanistan or Iraq, against red force, the American people. And government wearing transponders, everywhere else, everybody else is basically cannon fodder, dead meat, the enemy. How the military is going to man the camps for continuity of government, collapse of society. And what's incredible is, this is all on Department of Defense websites. This is all on the big public contracting sites hidden in with the hundreds of thousands of other yearly contracts. And even though we've been breaking this from open source information, zero so-called mainstream media, dinosaur, prostitute media has picked this up. I mean, I'm in hundreds of newspapers and TV stations today. CBS, Bloomberg, you name it, for interviews we've done, news we've broken. But on this subject, it is dead. Most people freak out if they're in one newspaper. I can't even keep track of it. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, reach millions a day. The radio show, three million a day. My point is, there is a blackout on this. There is a blackout on this because it's continuity of government, and it shows the master plan, and it's got the system very, very scared. National continuity program, program and mission support services. This is the martial law control grid plan. And Aaron Dykes and I put together a detailed text report with the proof of all this, links to all of it, at InfoWars.com. Please get it out to everyone you know. Again, exclusive military to designate U.S. citizens as enemies during collapse. FEMA, continuity of government plan, prep, total takeover of society, dispatching military domestically under economic collapse emergency. Unbelievable information. As Ron Paul said on my show last week, this NDAA situation, designating Americans enemies of the government and allowing our secret arrest execution should be the top story in the country. And now we have this. And the point is, they built these things a long time ago. Now they're giving them power. Now they're turning them on. Now they're manning them. Now they're activating them. White knuckle time. And for the general public who's in a zombie state, when the hammer drops, I can't imagine how they're going to behave and how they're going to act. I have a guest coming up on that and the document that you can read for now. Blue force government, good guys. American people, red force, bad guys. Of course. The bad guys are the folks that have set up FEMA and done all this to us. Classical tyranny. Continuing with some news that integrates with this, and we've got some video on it in a moment. Uh, here's other reports we broke today. Martial law attempted in Louisiana echoes Ron Paul's warning. We have CNN and local news with state reps, mayors, you name it, from multiple cities, not just New Orleans, saying, we've got some shootings and some crime. We've got a war, and we've got an enemy, and the National Guard who's been federalized needs to come in and patrol our streets of America. And uh, here is the other headline, Louisiana state officials call for troops on the streets, National Guard engage in door-to-door -door gun confiscation during Katrina. Never forget that that went on. And in case you have forgotten, we're going to go ahead and go to those videos now. Here's the new video from last night, just some excerpts of it, the full videos in our article. But uh, we can analyze some small clips here under fair use. Here are clips of the CNN reporter talking to a state rep. And this is going on in Illinois, too. They've got Marines running checkpoints in the middle of California. TSA running checkpoints, grabbing your daughter's genitals, your wife's breasts, your son's genitals in Tennessee. I mean, you didn't wake up in the twilight zone. You didn't wake up in the middle of the night when Outer Limits is on. This is really happening. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this excerpt of CNN clips where the solution to America's problems and the government shipping drugs in and guns out of the country to Mexico, the solution to government drug dealing and gun running that's on record is put the military on the streets. But in Katrina, they went in the wealthy high and dry areas as a beta test. They wouldn't actually fight real criminals. 
and confiscated people's guns out of their mansions. That's coming up in a moment. But here's CNN last night. The answer to all your problems is a jolly green giant on your street. A Louisiana state official says crime in New Orleans is out of control. So much so that he is now asking that the National Guard be brought in to patrol the city's streets. And this was all sparked by the recent death of a toddler. So, hit pause. Also if it's for a toddler, why have posse commentators? Right after the government gets rid of it and says, we'll put troops on the streets, we'll secretly arrest Americans forever. You know, a toddler gets shot, hell, got to have the army. Who needs even local government? Total federalization. Who's going to protect us, though, from all the TSA robbing, stealing, and pedophiling? Who's going to protect us from the military? Again, the Pentagon has taken over the whole planet with our troops. Biggest defense budget in the world, bigger than all the others combined. 54% of world defense spending because it's offense spending. And now it's coming home to rape and rob and pillage the big juicy America. The greatest threat in history is your own military turning against you. From Rome to Mexico today, from Venezuela to what's happening in Africa, from the Middle East to Russia. But let's continue. I'm sorry. Representative Austin Badon joins me live from New Orleans. He is one of the officials who wants to bring the National Guard. I've read that you've said your city's at war. You need the National Guard. Why can't local police do the job? The local police need help. So what I have done is oh, I have called upon help. the governor to bring in the National Guard. After the storms of 2005, oh, yes. people were a lot more comfortable by seeing the National Guard on well, the streets right of there. New Orleans. People were a lot more comfortable. Military on your streets. When I've been in third world countries and seen troops on the streets shaking people down, and I've seen it, I, I, I didn't feel a lot safer. They feel a lot safer in Nazi Germany. We kept telling you this was coming. They got the clergy response teams all over the country, paid off preachers telling you to go along with this. Remember, it's the government caught shipping the drugs in and the guns out. Well, I'm going to shut up. Back to the clip. Higher, but we cannot allow certain individuals to carry guns and to go out and to shoot people on a daily basis in this city. So I brought. I've Stop there. You expand on this. Yeah, he, he calls for patrolling checkpoints where the army searches you just to make sure you don't have a gun. They have a total gun ban in Mexico and 40,000 dead in the last three years. Did that help them? No, it allowed the criminals and the corrupt government to feed on everybody. Back to the clip. And five people were a lot more comfortable by seeing the National oh, yeah. Guard on the streets of New they Orleans, it. and it made the morale higher. But we cannot allow. Hit pause again. Hey, buddy, you must have been in the military. All of America isn't your barracks, and you're the Sarge, bossing everybody around, getting our morale up while CIA aircraft crash all the time, full of cocaine. Our morale will go up if we don't have the government that works for a bunch of foreign banks robbing this country blind, getting us ready for the collapse. I mean, I know you were giving your little talking points, but give me a break, buddy. Everybody knows troops on the streets is fascism. Back to it. I've asked for the National Guard to come in and create order to assist the NOPD with support. Create order? You're another one of the big government cesspits like Chicago or New York. You people are the opposite of what America is. You're a joke. You're a disgrace. We'll defend ourselves. The first thing the military did under FBI control was rush into people in mansions with their own power and their own guns and rob the hell out of them and keep the guns. Police were robbing banks and Walmarts. It's all on record. You can't keep order because the government of Louisiana is a bunch of criminals. You want to take the whole country over now. Go back to it to take this city back because we are at war and when you're at war you have to bring in soldiers we are at urban warfare right now uh you have people who have drug let me crimes. stop it again new orleans police are, are famous for running the drugs so some of their low-level delivery boys are killing each other and you're upset about it and some kids get killed in the crossfire i mean this is louisiana that rivals chicago for criminal activity Okay, and the people of Louisiana are great folks, but the people that have taken over the government are a joke. And now you want troops on the street. I'm sorry, just go back to him. Uh, drug warrants who are out on, uh, uh, you know, warrants that they should be in jail. Decriminalize it, jackass! Operating the streets with firearms, and uh, the problem that is the price. permeating oh. throughout our society. So what we have to do is we have to get in there with social services. Well, you know, stop right there. So the government brings the drugs in, the big banks launder the money, society degenerates, the drug heads rob you because the drugs cost so much. It's a 
tax from the private banks that bring the drugs in, and their answer is it gets worse and worse, more drug use, more people in prison, is we'll just get rid of all your damn freedoms. While the army they're going to bring in publicly grows the opium in Afghanistan. So now they can make deliveries directly of the cocaine they grow in Latin America, on record, and the heroin they grow from the opium over in Afghanistan, and the troops can just bring it right in. Hell, that might bring order. Why don't we just let you government people destroy everything? Go back to him. Uh, uh, effect on a long-term problem. We have to rebuild our schools. The, long, the long-term problem is retarded jackasses like you, Buck. We have to go back and we have to take our streets. Sorry. We are at war. And I think these people, these soldiers could come in and help just like they did after Hurricane Katrina. Like the Redcoats you know, did? Right now, what the NOPD, New Orleans Police Department, is doing, it ain't working. So we got to do something. It ain't working. So we're the people that screwed it all up. Here's some more of the same crap. I'm sorry, does this just go on and on? Come to this city and visit this city or protect it. I mean, we had about... Yeah, yeah, yeah that, exactly. I want to visit New Orleans. You know, the last time I was in Mexico, I wanted to go see some pyramids. About three years ago. And they, they would stop the bus and the army would shake down the driver and harass everybody. And, I, and my wife looked at me and she said, my mother was there on the trip with us. And they all said, I think this is our last trip to the third world. <sighs> I mean, I don't want to visit third world New, New Orleans that, 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 that the globalists have totally screwed up. I mean, I'm sorry. You need to come on New Orleans. We got the army on the street. Everything's fine. God. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Just is there any more of this person who may be some useful idiot? I mean, we have to make sure he looks that we like he's dumber than a box of rocks. We come here and we also have to protect our visitors. We have a lot going on coming up in this city. We have the Super Bowl coming up. Protect our visitors with the Army. A hit and pause so right there. You notice these are talking points he's being given. They always have the Army and the Kentucky Derby and the Super Bowl now. It's all part of acclamations. I, I can't hear any more of it. Uh, by the way, again, when the poor people in New Orleans needed help and tried to walk out on the big bridges, they got machine gunned. We told you that first. It came out later. The police were busy robbing things everywhere. And the feds were in there killing people and then just covering it up later. And then they, they couldn't help themselves. They ran into the famous wealthy area, some of the most expensive houses in the country. Some of these things are like $15 million. I recognize from an architecture book that my mother-in-law gave me a decade ago, I recognize these buildings. And they admit in the ABC News piece, these are some of the most expensive houses in the country. Big, giant things that look like the White House. Okay, from the golden age of New Orleans 100 years ago or more. And they went into these rich people's houses, handcuffed them, and stole their guns. <laughs> so, oh yeah, man, you got a problem? They're not going to help the poor people. They're going to come in old ladies' houses and stuff and beat them up and take them to, take them to the camp where they get gang raped by the criminals. That, and that happened at the Superdome, remember. So this is what government wants. It wants to set precedents to rob you because we have a kleptocracy like all these other countries. You think we're any different than any other nation? You get rid of the Bill of Rights and Constitution, folks. You're Mexico. You're North Korea. You're Russia. Let's go ahead and go, in case you forgot, how they want to help you with the troops in New Orleans. Here it is. Today in New Orleans, they got a lot tougher on the holdouts. Police Department, Not only the flooded areas, but New Orleans' driest and wealthiest neighborhoods, too. Police the police and National Guard going street by street, house to house. We need to make sure, too, that uh, whenever we knock on doors, people refuse to leave. We need to make note, call it in. They, they, say right there. No orders to use they start with this make note, call it in, then it's like, then you got to pull triggers on Americans, then you got to kill them. He's like, yeah, then you got to kill Americans. And we've got the clip of the, this is from Police State. Uh, for the rise of people. We have clips of the police chief saying all the guns will be taken, everybody will be armed. Again, these are clips of this. Uh, let's continue. But they, again, they start the PSYOP with make notes of the houses. Next is people in handcuffs. Here it is. They say there are no orders to use force, just strong persuasion. Sometimes entering open houses with guns drawn and instructions to disarm anyone inside. Let's stop. There's no force. They tell the troops, when there's no force, you're going to punch an old lady in the face and make her leave her house and her dogs die. There's no force. At the end, we're going to shoot people. 